Hello everyone! Today we are going to continue our development of this application. Last time we ended up with this application that we can sort our names here ascendantly and descendantly and we also can scroll horizontally and vertically if we would have here more items. Now we want to add that our data rows here on the right side are selectable. Therefore we go to our data row object here and here we have another property which is called on selected changed and here we get the selected property and we also create here another method and to this method we pass the selected state what we get from the row and also the city to store our selected rows which we want to select here we add another field which is called selected cities where we store our cities that we selected and we also initialize the selected cities to an empty list and in our unselected row changed which we created before we add the set state method here and we want to distinguish this selected property here so if we get a selected of one row then we want to add this city to the selected cities to our state and if it's not selected we want to remove it from our selected cities before our selection works we need to go back to our data row and here we have another property which is called selected and now we have to determine from our state if this data is selected so we go here selected cities if it contains the city which we have here for our data row and if we hot restart the application we can actually change here the selection of the rows and we also can change here all selections. The next thing I want to do is to add a button. So we go after our data table here in our scrollable list. And here we add this row with our button. And we also want to have here a method if we press on this button. So we create it here. And what we are doing here, we return null if our selected cities are empty. So we have here no selection at all like this here and otherwise we want that our button is enabled so we just return a normal function here and if we hot reload we have this button here which has the text process with and the selected cities so this is how many entries we selected here and if we have zero selected entries then we want to disable this button. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!